In this video, I'll show you how to um, embed a link into your knowledge form notes. So I had previously contributed a note where I included a diagram, but now I want to go back and be able to cite the source where I got that diagram from. So I'm going to add a link to that website. So I'm going to go to my original note and open it. Okay, so I'm just going to put my cursor underneath the image here and I'm going to reference the source. So there's two ways that you can include a link into a note. The first is just to copy and paste the URL and put it into the body of your note wherever you would like it. The second is to select a chunk of text and make that a hyperlink using this insert edit link icon here. So I'll show you both ways. Um, the first one here, I'm just going to open up a new tab in my browser to go back to the source where I got this diagram from. Um, I'll use my same search term. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the image gallery and I'll click on this image here in order to go back to the original page. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to copy and paste this URL. Just go back to my knowledge form tab up here. And I will just paste that link right in the body of my text where I want it. Now just make sure that you hit the space bar after your link because then that will activate it there. You'll see that it's activated when there's that underline. Okay, so I'll contribute this, finish editing. Now I'm going to go back in and check it to make sure it's working. Okay, so here's my note. I can see that it's active because it's blue. And I'm going to click on it. Now you'll see this um, navigation warning. You want to be able to leave this page and go see the, the site that you're linking out to. So you can click leave the page, but you don't have to worry because the website's just going to open up in the note. So you won't be kicked off knowledge form and um, sent to another site. You'll just have the site open up here in the note, which is pretty convenient. So I can scroll down and see the whole contents. Okay, and if I just want to close out, I just close the window and that's it. Uh, now I'll go back into that note so I can show you the second way of embedding a link. So I'll just click and drag my cursor to select these words and I'll go up here and I'll hit the edit insert link. Okay, so I'm just going to dump that same URL into this box here. Now you don't have to worry about either of these um, boxes, but what you want to do is for the target box here, select new window. And this will just mean that when somebody else clicks on this link, they won't be taken out of Knowledge Forum and into a new site. A new window will open up for them um, that will take them to that web page. So they'll be able to work on both simultaneously. So I'll just click OK. I'll contribute. Just go back in to make sure that's working. Okay, so here I can see the link is active and it opens up in a brand new tab. So I can just toggle back and forth. Okay, so that's how you add links into a contribution.